Hello everyone, Vlad Levitt here, and this week let's talk about Trump sponsoring Goya, which makes me so happy. And I'll get to why, but first, a useless introduction. So Trump got himself into trouble again, which isn't surprising at all. It's actually more surprising when there isn't any hilarious Trump-related controversy in the news. And I'm happy with the work everyone put in. It was a tremendous effort. I would also like to thank the Democrats for their collaboration. It almost made me forget about the crooked Hillary and Joe Poopoo had Biden. There you go. Trump is like the evil Knievel of politics. Like what crazy thing is he gonna say or do next? And on the other hand, if he's not saying something stupid, then people will still find something to get upset about. Rather, he can just sneeze in front of the press. Trump sneezes to mock victims of coronavirus. But this one is so great. So it all started with Robert Unanue, uh, the CEO of Goya, who uh, was making a speech uh, during which he said that the U.S. was truly blessed to be under the leadership of Trump. And the reaction was predictable. Everyone started saying to boycott Goya products, which is a bit much, if you ask me. You're going to deprive yourself of some delicious canned goods just because the CEO of some company likes some president you don't like. AOC was at the forefront of the boycott, uh, which is not really a good look for a politician, I find. It's hard to take you seriously when you're asking the population to not buy a type of beans because the CEO likes some politician you don't like. So in response to the whole fiasco, Ivanka Trump tweeted this picture, which is also really not a good look. It seems really unnatural for any politician to take a picture with a can like some ad from the 1950s. How do us Republicans stay healthy and strong-minded enough to make all the right decisions? Why, by eating Goya beans, of course. And don't get me wrong, I know all of the politicians are sponsored by big corporations. That's what the super PACs are for. But they're not supposed to do it in the open like that. It messes with reality. It's like the Truman Show where the wife just turned to the camera with some cleaning product. It's too creepy. I don't like that. So Ivanka Trump did that. And instead of looking into everything that happened and deciding to let the whole thing die down, Trump decided to do this. Which is so great. Like, politics aside, can we all take a step back and collectively appreciate how hilarious this is? This is the president of the most powerful country in the world. L look at him. Look at He's giving thumbs up. He has a bunch of cans and cookies on his desk in the White House, and he's giving thumbs up. This is the picture of a guy that can start World War III. He's also the only U.S. president I can think of who probably actually eats all of those things. That's what's funny, too, is that he's sponsoring Goya, right? Not some cool company like Nike, Apple, or Tesla. No, he's sponsoring beans. Even Yeezys would have been better. Like, you can't not look like an oaf as a major politician giving thumbs up to a bunch of canned goods. Next thing you know, Merkel is going to get sponsored by tube socks. They are very practical if you want to improve the heat of your feet. But here's the kicker. Robert Yunanwe, who is the grandson of the founder of Goya, Prudencio Yunanwe Ortiz, is being accused by some of the other family members of supporting Trump on purpose. That is because the board members of Goya uh, have already informally agreed to a merging deal with uh, BDT Capital Partners. Robert Unanue, having less than 5% of the shares of the company, would have been required to leave his position within 18 months as they would have found another CEO. So he stirs up controversy and with a bad press and the boycotts, the deal falls through and he remains as the CEO. Which is not guaranteed that he planned it all out, but if he did, that's some cold ass calculated moves. I can't even be mad at that. Like, I didn't know the canned goods industry was this cutthroat business with a bunch of Machiavellian dudes making moves to stay in power. Next time you buy some canned beans, think about all the Game of Thrones shit that went down for you to end up on your shelf. 
It's a dog eat dog world out there. This guy is the kingpin of canned beans. But will he stay there for long? Only time will tell. And this is it for this week's video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And like always, please let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want me to talk about. And uh, that's it. I hope you guys have a great week.